of these. How are you today? I finished it. Yay. Here it is. Ah, oh, I tell you, once I did that video, the last video on my progress on this, I've been having a really tough time with it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because of all the paint splotch orange kind of I can't see past it now <laughs> but that's okay like I said I'm sure that there's somebody out there that will like it <clears throat> I just have a little bit of OCD and I can't yeah I'm gonna do another one I think but I'm gonna do bobbles or something and see if that makes a difference with this yarn um, but any, at any rate, I am finished it. <clears throat> Absolutely loved the pattern, uh, the tutorial that Angela from My Precious Yarnery did. This is her pattern. Um, I put some buttons on it. And because uh, George says that I need buttons on my sweaters. My sister's going to say it needs pockets. And now that I'm looking at it, I wonder if doing some pockets on here would break up this a little bit and then it wouldn't bother me quite so much. What do you guys think? I hate doing pockets with a passion, but for the greater good, <laughs> we'll see. I think that might be an option, <clears throat> but, um, I absolutely love doing this and I'm going to show you ah you're going to see it in the pictures that I'm going to be posting but not only did I put buttons on it I did the um, hood a little bit longer and I put a tassel on the back I I don't know I just wanted to have a little bit of a pixie look to it or something I don't know so yeah so that is my finished uh angela sweater the easy hooded chunky hooded sweater sweater chunk Ooh, I, I will have that link down below <laughs> um yeah i i just absolutely loved this sweater i think next i'm gonna try doing her the heck is it called it's that shawl thing with the arms I can't remember what it's called anyway <laughs> she, she made a couple it's the granny square that you fold you make arms oh it's late I'm tired my brain's not working <clears throat> you know stuff like that anyway so it's finished uh what am I going to work on next? I don't know. I have a couple of things in, like, I don't know if you can see down here. Whoop, no, that's the sweater I just did. Down here, in here, there's a box that has a couple of whips in there that I'm just kind of pretending isn't there. You know. One I do want to finish. Um, <clears throat> I just have to sew it up the sides do the arms and the collar and it's done. Um, the other one is a old movie marquee sweater that I was working on and I can't remember how much I have left on that. I think I just have to do the sleeves and the collar on that as well. Hmm. I don't know what, why I'm just procrastinating. Um, this, I've gotten a lot of compliments on this. It's not actually a blanket. It was supposed to be a blanket and then I got bored with it and went, I'm just going to finish it off. But it ended up being, this was a movie marquee thing too. Um, it ended up being a, I don't know, you could put it on the end of your bed kind of thing it's not it's not that wide uh, or not that um, yeah long um, but it's 
fairly wide you know so it could go on the back of a couch or it could go on the, the end of a bed um <clears throat> but yeah a lot of you are saying that you want a tutorial on this and i might do that um i really enjoyed doing this like seeing the colors come out in this i really enjoyed that part of it um oops but i think if i was going to do it i would end up doing it in a thicker uh yarn maybe so it goes a little faster but i don't even remember what what yarn this was oh yes i do uh I don't have it because I put it in one of these boxes. One of the giveaway boxes. Oh, speaking of, not giveaway boxes, the uh, mystery boxes. Speaking of, they are all sold. They sold really fast. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to be getting them out in the next couple of days. I have all the payments and all the addresses now. So I am going to get them out uh, pretty soon I just have to label them and get them to the post office uh, my back's feeling a little bit better but I will not be picking them up George is going to be helping me so um, yeah so thank you so much I really appreciate your support on that um, I'm glad that it's all going to be getting going to a good home um, and I hope that you guys really enjoy what's inside just an FYI, there's an anniversary cake in one, just saying. And in another one, there is a furls hook holder. You know, the, the big one that holds like five furls hooks. Yeah. So, and then there's a mug in there that I had designed and... Yeah, there's lots of little stuff in there that uh, that we put in there. So I'm really hoping that you guys can enjoy it. Um, for the people that are getting these boxes, I would really like it if <clears throat> maybe you could do a picture um, and put it in my Facebook group and uh, tell me what you think of everything that's inside of it, inside of these boxes. Um, that would be fun. <laughs> Okay, so anyways, uh, I just wanted to show you this sweater. Thank you so much, Angela, for getting this out so quickly. Um, I just absolutely adore this. And I, I'm i going to definitely be making more. I, I sent her a message afterwards and said, it's finished. And I showed her a little video clip. And I said, uh, you know, you know, I'm going to be making more. I'm addicted now. I'm addicted to doing hoods on a sweater. So, yeah. <laughs> now I just have to get addicted to putting pockets on a sweater. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Uh, that's all for me. I will talk to you guys later. I have a bunch of stuff coming up. Um, I have a whole bunch of ideas for videos and for... Um, like, uh, not crochet alongs, make alongs. No. Collabs. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what this would be called, but anyway, <laughs> I've got a bunch of stuff coming up and, uh, I guess I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. Bye. Bye.